going on Pixel Links? This is Bradley here and today we're going to go over some Wii U and 3DS news. So first up is that we now have like how far away you can be from the Wii U system with the Wii U gamepad and still get the best performance. So Bill Training of Nintendo has confirmed they have to be like about within 24 feet of the Wii U system to still get the best performance out of the Wii U gamepad. So that's a pretty nice distance. Maybe you will be able to take it to the bathroom, play it on the toilet, maybe, depending on where the toilet is in your house. But nevertheless, be about with, within 24 feet to get the best performance. So maybe you will be able to go farther than 24 feet with the effect of a hindered performance on the Wii U gamepad. So next up is that Reggie Fizeme of Nintendo of America has commented on friend codes for the Nintendo Wii U. And he said that like Nintendo's heard the community's feedback on friend codes and that they're making it dramatically easier for you to connect with your friends. So not really any details about how they're going to implement the friend codes on the Wii U. But at least we know it's supposed to be dramatically easier. So that's a good thing. Moving along is that we now have the confirmation that Scribblenauts Unlimited will in fact be a launch title for the Nintendo Wii U in North America. So it will be arriving in North America on November 18th. We don't have a set release date just yet for Europe and Australia, but you can expect a set release date sometime in the future. But nevertheless, it's good to know that it's a launch title since I pre-ordered the game and now I can get it on launch day. So that's a good thing. So in other news is that Bill Trinan of Nintendo has confirmed that Nintendo Land will not support online multiplayer, but instead just support local multiplayer. So basically he says that Nintendo has like a logical reason for doing this, not putting uh, online multiplayer in the game. They say that when they're looking at online play and they think it's important for the game and that the game makes sense in having online multiplayer, they're going to leverage that. So basically they didn't think it made sense by putting online multiplayer in Nintendo Land. I have to agree with that. Nintendo Land is more of the experience of playing with your friends in the same room, playing mini games with them, stuff like that. So next up is that we now have the confirmation that North America will not be selling the Wii U gamepad as a standalone product like at launch. So we know that Japan will be doing this, they will be selling the Wii U gamepad separately at launch. But now we have the confirmation that North America will not. So Mark Franklin has confirmed this, he's of Nintendo. And he has said that they don't want like consumers to become confused if they're selling them as standalone products since there are no games that actually support dual Wii U gamepads. So that kind of makes sense. So basically if you happen to like break your Wii U gamepad sometime during the launch period, well, you won't be able to go to the store and pick up another Wii U gamepad because there won't be any there. So you have to call up like Nintendo's customer support and then you'll be able to get one from them. Last up is that we now have some of the first gameplay footage of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 3DS title that will be released in Japan this year. So it's called like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Magna Gate and the Infinite Labyrinth. And it like features full 3D characters, like 3D models of characters. So that's pretty cool. You can go ahead and check out that footage on my blog. There will be a link in the description below to that gameplay footage. So yeah. That will bring us to the end of this video, guys. If you want, you can subscribe. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can go to thegamepixelshow.com to get news and rumors for the 3DS and the Wii in the future. But I'll talk to you all later in the next video, guys. Bye!